What is that? Ah! Oh God, Matilda's found something. What are you eating? What are you eating? So, George called me to say that his mum has left a gift for me in my locker. So obviously, I'm racing in to see what it is. I've never met his mum, but I think she's very glamorous. An email about some family business has been... So this is my locker, and this is a gift from George's mum. <laughs> My goodness. Oh my goodness. These are nipple covers. They're called nip press. If you were watching last week, I said every time I arrived at work and it was cold, people would say, I can see it's windy out there, Joe, because of the nip action. George's mother has sent me these. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me just see. Is this hysterical? Oh, I say. Oh, they're flower shaped. Sorry, that's Matilda. Show. Can you see? Oh, I see. So they're silicone. That sticks onto that. George's mother, thank you. I've got two pairs. And I tell you the dress that I need to wear these. The dress that would benefit the most is a dress that I wear without a bra. I'm not trying to be titillating. It's just the dress looks better without a bra. So I'm gonna put these on and I will show you how they look or how it looks. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. So this is the dress that I don't like to wear a bra with it because it makes me look very big chested. So I'm wearing the silicone covers and I think it suits this dress really, really well. I love this dress. Vicky Russell, Ken Russell's daughter, her sister designs these. In fact, I'll leave a link below. But I'm really pleased. I used to wear it with a bra and it was all sort of hoisted up. This is much better. Oh dear, it's such a hot night. Matilda is panting. I'm panting and there's no, there's no crosswind in my flat, even though I've got all the windows open.
Oh, Matilda and I have decided we're going to sleep. Hang on a moment. That's better. Matilda and I have decided we're going to sleep up on the roof. It's just so hot in my flat. It's because there's, there's um, windows all along one wall and then no other windows unless I have my flat door open. But it's lovely up on this roof, isn't it, Tilde? It's just a lovely breeze. I've never slept up here before. No. Neither's Matilda. I'm just praying none of the other tenants come up here. I'm also praying there's no rats. But it's just lovely. Yes, isn't it? And she stopped panting. I've stopped panting. Oh gosh, this is wonderful. I wonder how long we'll last. Is there dew? The dew doesn't fall, does it? What's that? Come on, we've got to settle. We've got to settle, Matilda. Oh, let's see how long we last up here. See you in the morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? Matilda, come on, settle. that? Ah! Oh God, Matilda's found something. What are you eating? What are you eating? Oh God. I just hope that's not a pigeon. Oh! Well, that was not a success. I did actually fall asleep out there, but if you remember, Thursday night it started to rain and it probably rained about 1 a.m. and um, so I've my duvet is now damp um, Matilda was damp I got damp but it was a do you know I really enjoyed it it was like I've never camped I've never enjoyed camping you know I like to know I can have a nice hot shower or a hot bath so um, you know it was lovely to just camp for a couple of hours and then come back in. It actually really cooled me down. It was fantastic. So I might do that another hot night. Um, and Matilda loved it because being a bulldog, she doesn't really cope with the heat. Actually, not very well at all. Now, can I just talk? I know you hate me doing this, but this now is utterly ridiculous. I mean, just look. It's got no shape. Look how dark that is at the back. It's so dark. Oh. So there's a waiting list for my hairdresser. She also works from home. She also has a very young baby. So I don't really want to put her into any kind of um, compromising situation. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, make her feel she has to do my hair. And the other thing is, I live in an area surrounded by hairdressers. In fact, there's a hairdresser who lives in this block who is really good, but I just love the way she did my hair. And for most of the lockdown, it actually kept its shape. It's now just, and it's so hot, I'm thinking of having a pixie cut. So Julian Clary, who has always, my only celebrity friend, he has always said, even when I had really long hair, he said, just have a pixie cut. And I just thought, what well, with all this, it won't suit it. But you know, I might. If it's going to continue to be a really hot summer, plus I'm not going to be filming anything professionally. I'm not going to be doing any inside outs on BBC television because there's no filming at the moment. So if I look an absolute prat, um, I, try, I keep thinking I'm going to look really short with a pixie cut. Please leave a comment. I know you hate me talking about my hair and me, 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 but I'd love to know what you think.
I mean something. I've tried Alice bands. I'm now just utterly fed up with this. Anyway, Friday, going into work. My last day of the week at work. And then I'm going down to my mum's. And there's something I want to show you at my mum's. Oh, by the way, sorry I didn't post midweek. Um, and that was because the Dogs in the City podcast is back. So the new series. So I've been recording those, albeit on Zoom. Um, so I will leave a link to those. But anyway, I'm going down to my mum's. And I think the weather's going to change. But there is something I want to show you that I planted that I'm so proud of. I mean, I never, I've never planted anything. I've never had any interest in a garden before now. Anyway, I'm going to go into work, then after work, drive down to my mum's. Can you believe it is now raining? I'm at my mum's, it is pouring with rain. Um, and it's rather nice actually, because I love the air. I love the air after hot weather and when it's been raining and I'm under this massive I think it's a horse chestnut I've never really know what this tree is I should know probably an oak tree gosh isn't that appalling anyway what I wanted to show you is what I planted I haven't grown this I bought it and planted it last weekend and since I've been away for the week it's doubled in size It's a foxglove and for those of you who watch my vlog you know that I love the house where my grandparents lived called Horsebrook and we spent a lot of time there when I was a child and we brought foxgloves back from that. This is one we brought back from that farm. But as you can see it's struggling and so I planted this one last weekend. Now I know it's no big deal, but I've never grown anything. Whilst I'm here, let me just show you. Remember my cat Flossie? Those of you who know me well will remember Flossie. I gave her to my mum. She died, I mean she was 14 and she died. This is Flossie's grave. Sorry, I don't mean to bring the mood down, but this is Flossie's grave. Which is rather lovely. And I love this bit of the garden, it's quite wild. Anyway, I'm gonna to have to send all this to Philippe, otherwise you're not gonna have a vlog this Sunday. Just bobbing down, where's the, where is the foxglove? Woo! There we go. So, that is it from me this week. That's better. Um, give us a thumbs up, please subscribe. Please tell everyone else to subscribe. Gosh, look at this. Uh, have a good week. I will try and get a midweek vlog out. Don't forget to listen to Dogs in the City, the podcast, which is up now, the new series. And um, leave a comment. I love reading your comments. I really love reading your comments. I read them out to my mum, um, especially when they're about her. But she's not in this vlog this week. I'll make sure she's in next week's. Have a great week. Gosh, the sun is now coming out. I don't need my brolly. Have a great week. See you Wednesday. Bye.